Hello viewers, welcome to Magis classes. In the video, la, TRB PG Chemistry 2015, the category questions are Let us move on to the video part. The first question, which among the following is an example of spinels? Spinels, compounds of the details are Pathiklam, Pathita, the Kapil answer and the discussion. Bandla. So, first of all, what are spinels? First of all, spinels are a type of crystalline solids. And the general formula is A, B2, X4. A is dipositive cation. And B is a tripositive cation. And this X is number 4. It may be oxide or the sulfide or the fluoride or the selenide. Then the cations are occupied in the respective voids in the crystalline solids. There are two types of voids we have known. One is the tetrahedral voids and one is the octahedral voids. So cations occupy in the corresponding voids. So these are about the spinels. The spinels are crystalline solid and having the molecular formula AB2X4 and A is the diphosphatic cation and B is the triphosphatic cation. It is 2 in number and X is the oxide or sulfide or fluoride or the selenide. It may be 4 in number. The cations A and B are occupied in the corresponding voids in the solids. Based on the position of the occupation of voids, the spinels are classified into three types. So mainly two types. So what are the types? One is the normal spinel, another one is the inverse spinel and the mixed spinel. First we see about the normal and inverse spinel and finally mixed. What is normal spinel? Based on the position of the cations in the voids the spinal normal spinal that is the cation that is a dipositive cation and another one is a tripositive cation in the normal spinal the dipositive cation is present in the tetrahedral void and the tripositive ion is present in the octahedral void and in case of inverse spinal it is reverse the A plus 2, the dipositive cation present in the octahedral void and the tripositive ions is present in the tetrahedral void as well as the octahedral voids. So 1 by 2 octahedral void and 1 by 2 that is 50 percentage is in the tetrahedral voids. This is you have to remember. So these are about the structure. The normal spinal present in the tetrahedral, the dipositive ion and the tripositive ion goes to the octahedral voids. And the inverse spinal, the octahedral voids is present in the, uh, occupied by the dipositive and in case of tripositive ions occupies both octahedral as well as tetrahedral. Here 1 by 2 is octahedral, 1 by 2 is tetrahedral. Okay. Now you come to the question point. It is very clearly, which among the following is an example of spinels? From the formula you can easily answer this one correct so answer is b okay so it is very simple questions from spinels so little more difficult is that so how to identify which one is the normal spinal and which one is the inverse spinal and the mixed spinal let us see some examples how to identify the, the given spinal is whether normal or inverse or the mixer. So there are different techniques. The most techniques used is the octahedral CFSC values. How it is identified? In case of normal spinal, the dipositive ions present in the tetrahedral voids and the tripositive ions in the octahedral voids. You have to calculate the, the octahedral that is tripositive ion. CFSC value 
the crystal field establishing energy is in the octahedral field is greater than that of the dipositive ion. This is normal. Okay. In case of inverse, it is reverse. The dipositive CFSC is greater than that of the the tripositive octahedral CFSC. So whether B3 plus is greater or the A2 plus is greater. If B3 plus ion is greater, then it is called a normal. See, it is in the octahedral position. Clear? If A2 plus is greater, it is in the octahedral and so it is the inverse spinal. So by using this technique, you can find out the different type of spinals. We will see the mixer spinal later. Let us see one example, Fe3O4. Now we have a doubt whether it is a spinal or not. See number of oxide is 4 but the different is not there. So it is, it can be written as Fe, Fe2O4. Now you can see it is a spinal type. And it's a mixed oxide. Now, what is the type present in it? The A positive, A dipositive, that is dipositive is ferrous and it is a ferric. So it is dipositive and it is a tripositive ion. Here the Fe plus 2, the Fe plus 3. Now we are going to calculate the CFSE value. Fe2 plus the electronic configuration is D6 system, and the CFS value may be. When you calculate the CFSC value for the Fe2 plus D6, it is 4 in the T2G level and 2 in the EG level. You calculate this value, it is minus 0 0.6 and it is increased by 0 0.4 delta O. So here the CFSC value is 0. Here the CFSC value is minus 0 0.4 del O. The CFSC value is a uh, Magnet only you have to take in, so it is a 0 0.4 del O. Which one is greater? The Fe2 plus octahedral void having the CFSC greater. So here the CFSC of Fe2 plus is greater than Fe plus 3. So it is a dipositive ion. So dipositive ion is greater, it is a inverse spinal. So this final is the inverse final. Clear? Let us come to some conclusion part. So what are the conclusion we have arrived in this CFSC calculations? Let us see. Conclusion part at the tana, if we could a dipositive ion and tripositive ions, random non-transition elements are in the scenario. So other than transition elements, and the case of normal spinal. Because CFSC of the non-transition elements are zero, so very less, and so it is normal spinal. Then the D3 and D8 CFSC in the configuration of the CFSC value higher, so it flippers the octahedral voids. Dipositive ion on the non-transition are the tripositive ion transition with this configuration that is D1, D2, D3, D4, D6, except 5, 10, 0. Normal. B3 plus normal. When the values on the octahedral can the CFS values are gone, so the normal are. In case of dipositive ion in the D1, D2, D3, D4 in the configuration here the B3 plus one the D0, D5, D10 layer than either one the zero value CFSE. And so is the greater arc, dipositive on the greater arc. So in the case la other one then upon inverse spinal for example, sparking NGAL2O4. So, this is a, spine, this is a type of spinal formula A P2O4. If you have any question, this is the normal abdilana inverse. Very simple. Parangha. Magnesium is the non transition elements, aluminium non transition elements. Non transition elements, non transition elements are the on the spinal one then the normal spinal. Apply then a type two. It is normal. Very simple. 
இந்த எக்ஸாம்பிளை பார்க்கலாம் இது எஃபி சிஆர் டூ ஓஃபர் ரெண்டுமே இது வந்து ட்ரான்ஸிஷன் எலமெண்ட்ஸ் எஃபி இந்த ப்ளஸ் டூ ஃபார்ம் அண்ட் இட் இஸ் த ப்ளஸ் த்ரீ ஸோ ஆக்சிஜன் ஸ்டேட் கால்குலேட் பண்ணால் கிடைக்கும் ஸோ இட்ஸ் அ டி சிக்ஸ் சிஸ்டம் ட்ரான்ஸ் எலமெண்ட் இந்த டி சிஸ்டம் ஏ ப்ளஸ் அண்ட் இந்த சிஆர் டூ எடுத்துக்கிட்டோன்னா இட் இஸ் அ சிஆர் ப்ளஸ் த்ரீ அண்ட் இட் இஸ் அ டி த்ரீ சிஸ்டம் டி த்ரீ சிஸ்டம் டி எயிட் சிஸ்டம் இந்த ரெண்டுமே இருந்ததுன்னா அது என்ன பண்ணுறதுனா இது ஆக்டாகட்டில் வாயிட தான் ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணும் கிளியர் இப்போ பி வந்து ஆக்டாகட்டில் ஏன்னா இதோடய சிஎஃப்எஸ்சி வேல்யூ வந்து கிரேட்டர் பி த்ரீ ப்ளஸ் விட இது என்ன பண்ணுறது அதிகமாக இருக்குது சாரி ஏ டூ ப்ளஸ் விட பி த்ரீ ப்ளஸ் அதிகமாக இருக்கிறதுனால இது என்ன பண்ணுவோம் ஆக்டாக்டில் வாய்ஸ் தான் இது பண்ணும் ஸோ இது டி த்ரீ சிஸ்டம் டி சிக்ஸ் சிஸ்டம் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்கலி இது ஆக்டாக்டில் வாய்க்கிட்டு பி த்ரீ ப்ளஸ் போச்சுன்னா அது என்ன ஸ்பைனல் நார்மல் ஸ்பைனல் ஸோ ஒன் ஒன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் The third example is complicated. Complicated it is very easy, but in this case, um, the dipositive is uh, sin 2 plus, it is d10 system and it is fe3 and it is 3 plus, that is d5 system. In the case, the CFSC is 0. When you compare the size of the sin and fe2 plus, fe3 plus, from left to right, the ionic radius is decreases. So, sin 2 plus is lesser in size and so it, it occupies the detractal voids. And it is A plus 2. So, A plus 2 detractal voids are there. That is what is normal. So, in the CFSC comparison, we can do the two spinal. Easy to do. Now, go to the mixer spinal. The third example, Mn Fe2O4. Here, the dipositive ion is Mn2 plus. And it is Fe3 plus. Both are having D5 system. So the CFSC of the dipositive and the tripositive is 0. Now there is a question. Here the size of the M12 plus and the Fe3 plus are almost similar. So that this Mn2 plus and Fe3 plus can occupy both the tetrahedral and the octahedral type. Okay. So now this type of spinal is said to be mixer spinal. Okay, so it is mixer. So when the CFSC are similar, you have to consider the size factor. Otherwise, if the CFSCs are uh, equal, you can say it is a mixer spinals. Okay. Let us move to the next question. For a magnetic substance, the magnetic permeability of the spaces. Magnetic permeability of the spaces for the paramagnetic spaces. The magnetic permeability mu is it is a measurement and it has no unit. One magnetic space is magnetic fermiability. One magnetic field and the substance is How extends the magnetic field penetrate through the substance? The substance is penetrated. penetrate the substance. It is easy to magnetize. It is a magnetic field. It is a response. It is a measurement value. The magnetic permeability we know very well. In the relation, we can use relative mag uh, magnetic permeability. In the mu of the substance is permeability. The permeability of the permeability of the substance. And mu not of the permeability of the permeability in the space. Space la the permeability in the permeability. That is the permeability in the space. This is the substance permeability. In the ratio, we can use relative permeability. In the relative permeability, in the relative permeability in the space, for example, இப்போ இது என்ன இருக்கும் அப்படின்னா உங்களுக்கு வந்து ஒரு பேராமேக்னட்டிக் ஸ்பேசஸ் இருக்குது அப்படின்னு சொன்னோம்னா அப்போ என்ன ஆகுதுல இந்த சப்ஸ்டன்ஸ் வந்து ஈஸியாக என்ன பண்ணும் அது வந்து தன்னோட சப்ஸ்டன்ஸ் வழியாக அந்த மேக்னட்டிக் ஃபீல்டை இன்ட்யூஸ்ட் ஆகுது தட் இஸ் மேக்னட்டைஸ்ட் ஃபீல்டு அது என்ன பண்ணும் அப்சார்வ் பண்ணிக்கிடும் அல்லது அது வழியாக போக முடியும் அப்படி பார்க்கும்போது இந்த கேஸில் எப்படி இருக்கும் தட் இஸ் மியூ இஸ் கிரேட்டர் தென் மியூ ஜீரோ கிளியர் மியூ ஜீரோ வந்து கிரேட்டராக இருக்கும் எப்படி கிரேட்டராக இருக்கும் அப்படின்னா இந்த மியூ வந்து ஒன்னை விட அதிகமாக இருக்கும் பட் திஸ் வேல்யூ இஸ் திஸ் ஏ ஒன் ப்ளஸ் எ ஸ்மால் வேல்யூ தட் இஸ் இந்த எப்சிலான் இஸ் ஏ ஸ்மால் வேல்யூ இதுதான் அதிகமாக இருக்கும் இதே கேஸில் நம்ம வந்து மியூஆர் ரிலேட்டிவ் பெர்மிபிலிட்டி ஃபார் த டை மேக்னட்டிக் சப்ஸ்டன்ஸாக இருக்குது அப்படின்னு பார்த்தோம்னா ஸோ இட் இஸ் நாட் மேக்னட்டிக் பிஹேவியர் வீனோவர்கள் ஸ்பேஸை விட அதுக்கு வந்து என்ன பண்ணிருக்கோம் கம்மியாக இருக்கும் இன் திஸ் கேஸ் மியூ இஸ் லெஸ் தேன் தட் ஆஃப் தி மியூ ஜீரோ ஸோ அப்போ அந்த வேல்யூ எப்படி இருக்கும் ஒன்னை விட கம்மியாக இருக்கும் ஓகே ஸோ 
answer is the paramagnetic substance, the magnetic permeability. Here it is given in the form of K. It is a mu. Here it is given. It is greater than 1. Your answer is C. If less than 1, your answer is wrong. K is equal to 1. That is K is greater than 1000. There are two options. Greater than 1. In this case, we have a paramagnetic species. It is for the perro. Paramagnetic species, the relative permeability is equal to mu substance divided by mu in there. In this case, the mu is very much greater than that of the mu zero. So, on the mu value on the one of it a rumba adhikama irunda on the substance on the paramagnetic. So, this is for paramagnetic and this is for diamagnetic and this is for your paramagnetic. Clear? So, magnetic permeability is a measurement how we extend the substance respond to the magnetized field. Okay. So, it is measured by means of relative permeability and it is a scalar as well as tensor in, in case and it has no unit. So, from that you can find out the substance is para or dia or the para. Okay, viewers, we have come to the end of this slide. I hope that this presentation is useful to you. Thank you for watching.